Hello, I'm Yuna Kim in New Zealand, Director of Camper Van Travel Agency. Today, we will talk about the best single-day trekking course in Queenstown that you shouldn't miss out, and it's called the Ben Lowen Trek. A lot of people pick Lois Peak, Isthmus Peak, and Ben Lomond Trek as the top three single-day trekking courses in South Island. You get to see Lois Peak with Lake Wanaka, Isthmus Peak with Lake Hawea, and Ben Lomond with Lake Wakatipu. I have been to all three of them, and I think Ben Lomond Trek had the most beautiful view. If you are traveling in New Zealand, you will never miss Queenstown. And this trekking course starts from right in the middle of the city. So it has good location, and it's easy to do as well. So we will talk about this Ben Lomond trekking in more detail and other things that you can see and do in Kingstown. Hey guys, it's Eunice's daughter slash editor Lydia, and I'll take over from here. There are two different starting points for Ben Lomond Track. First one is to start from where the gondola starts, and it's called Tiki Trail. Second one is to take the gondola and start from up top. If you're going up to Skyline to do other activities, or if you are fit enough to walk right from the bottom to the very top, you can start from Tiki Trail. But if you're going up just for Ben Lomond Track, it would be best to take the gondola. You will have the whole track with better view after the gondola, so it would be best to save your energy and time and start from midpoint. When we were there, we started after the gondola, but we had other plans for the day, so we couldn't make it to the top. The view is still amazing, but it was a shame because you know it only gets better as you go higher. Also, two options to Ben Lomond Track itself. The saddle is a middle lookout point and it is a three to four hour return course. Up to the very top is the summit and it is a six to eight hour return course depending on how fast you walk. Up to the saddle is an easy walk so even beginners can do this just fine. But from saddle to the summit is a lot different. It'll be steeper and you need to be a lot more confident. Also, you'll be seeing other walkways as you go, but the right way to go has orange signs, so make sure you stick to them. We haven't had a chance to see the view up top, but they say you can see a 360 panoramic view of the Lake Wakatipu and the Remarkables mountain range, which sounds amazing. But still, the view from the summit was incredible as well. We definitely recommend it. For those who don't have 3 to 4 hours to get to the summit, there's also a 2 hour course as well, which we will show you with a map. Now if we have a look at the map, this here is where the Skyline Gondola drops you off. And this one-way track is the Ben Lomond track that leads you up this way. If you reach around here, it will be the saddle and you'll see a sign saying so. There is a different track that starts from here called Moonlight Track, which takes you to Arthur's Point, but that's a whole different and a very long track. Other than that, you might see a couple of different paths, which can be confusing, but as long as you stick to the orange signs, you'll be okay. And if you go further up, you'll reach the summit right here. 
You'll be able to see from the saddle that the road to the summit gets pretty steep from the start. So most people we know only plan to go to the saddle. If you have less time to spare, then you can start from the same place and it's not shown on the map, but here is the two hour return stop. If you walk for about 30 to 40 minutes, you'll reach a fork and if you turn right, it'll take you to a small hill. And you can see the whole Queenstown city, the Remarkables mountain range and Lake Wakatipu all together from here as well. The view from Saddle or to the summit will obviously be much better, but this also has a great view. And it only takes you two hours and you'll have a whole lot of leisure activities that you could do up at the skyline, so I would say it's worth the time. I'll tell you about parking in Queenstown as well. Queenstown is quite a small city, but the most complicated city in South Island, and it's very hard to find a parking spot. But compared to Christchurch and Dunedin, like I said, it's not a big city, so once you find a place to park, you can walk around the whole city with no sweat. And by complicated, I mean there are a lot of cars and a lot going on, so a couple of our clients had minor collision accidents and have been fined with parking tickets as well. So we tell everyone to learn the map of the city and where you'll be parking first, go straight to the parking lot and then do whatever after. There are no free parking spaces and there are no free camping grounds either, but there is a cheap parking lot and a couple of holiday parks right in the middle of the city, so, so I'll show you where they are. This is the map of Queenstown city and most of the things that tourists need to see and do are right in the middle here within this map. As you can see, Skyline Queenstown, where you'll be taking the gondola, is right up here. And the parking lot I was talking about is just called Public Car Park, which is right here. It's only a dollar an hour, which is really cheap considering it's in the city. And from the car park to the gondola, mm -hmm. it takes you only 5 to 10 minutes by foot. That means everything else in the city will be within walking distance as well. And for those of you who want to stay at the night in Queenstown City, here is Lakeview Holiday Park. And here is Creekside Holiday Park. So if you'll be staying the night in any of these two, it will be best to check in and park at where you're staying and walk your way to the city. If you're taking the gondola, you'll have to buy tickets and for adults, it's $44, for children, it's $25 and they have family tickets as well, which will be cheaper. And if you go up to Skyline, there are quite a lot of leisure activities that you can try. There's the luge, which is a must-do activity. If you only try it once, you'll regret it. Make sure you buy three to five rides at least. Then there's bungee, paragliding and mountain biking. Here they have a bike park, which has 30 different bike trails. So you'll be seeing quite a lot of people taking the gondola with their bikes. And there will be a buffet restaurant, but there's also a food court. You can choose whatever you want to have from different stalls and pay all together later. A little different from buffets and cheaper if you're not too hungry. So you can choose from the two options. Today, we will talk about Ben Lomond trekking in Queenstown, which involves the gondola line and other skyline activities. If our video was helpful, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.